been raining lately and the field turned green again. It's nice and cool today. Uh, my friends down south wish they were here, I bet. It's nice. It's the end of July and it's starting to feel a little cool at night. It's great. Not that bad. Let the dog run and he's not going to get overheated, probably. Come here, Millet. Come on, give it here. Drop it. He still thinks he can get me to play tug of war and it just ain't happening. It'll hurt. Sit. Sit. Yep. It's hard not to be a little proud of this dog and what I've achieved. Come on. I know it's like rank amateur status as far as a dog and field trial and all that. But I don't care. Sit. Sit down. It makes me very extremely happy. Drop. Drop it. When I shoot a duck, he swims over and goes and gets it. And he climbs back in the boat and puts the boat duck right at my feet. Uh, that's all I really care about. Is that I can shoot a duck and I don't even have to get up and move or nothing. All I have to do is turn him loose. He's got a quick release dog strap. Oh, he just wants to chase. Let him. But he's a heck of a, a retriever. He doesn't have a ton of experience yet, but he has a several dozen. Uh, retrieves on ducks Maybe three maybe four dozen. I don't know we shoot a lot of ducks. I don't keep track drop But it adds up To where he gets smarter and smarter on every trip More and more experience he hasn't encountered the, the diving scuba duck yet That's gonna happen It's always frustrating to watch the dog go learn on that first duck that dives. He's had a couple that dived, but he kind of lingers in the area and eventually the duck pops up and then he sees it. He's been pretty lucky in that uh, most of the ducks he retrieves are shot dead. It doesn't always work out that way though. Guess he's got a poop. He's been running around a lot this morning. It's so nice and cool, I've been letting him. I, I got a question of other people that own Labrador Retrievers. Both of my labs kind of walk and poop at the same time because they don't want to get it on them or something. I don't know, it's just weird to watch. They kind of walk. The walk squat, it's, it's, it's different. He's done doing his duty, he forgot his dummy. <sighs> he's looking now. No, he's still trying to get a pinch of loaf. Come on, dog. The old walk squat. Probably pisses some people off that he shits in their backyard. Technically, this ain't their backyard, though. It's uh, somebody else's property. I think the city owns this. Ah, he's got his dummy. He's ready to go back to work.
Come here, Millet. <clears throat> hey. Drop. Good. I'm getting old to where my arm hurts from throwing it. I don't feel it right away, but tonight I'll feel it. I was wondering why my shoulder always hurts. It's from throwing the dummies. Drop it. There's a couple guys that say I'm doing this all wrong. And probably I am, but it's all right for my, uh, for what I do. Really, I've got this dog trained enough to accept just about any challenge I can put him to. Come on, Millet. Drop it. There goes a the flock of geese. That's part of why I come out here early. It's because I get to watch the geese get up and fly. They start doing it more and more as the season gets more fall. See, there's a water treatment plant over there and the geese pile up in there and so do ducks. Uh, this fall, when it starts getting ducky, I'll walk over there and take my camera and set it up. And I've got some amazing duck footage from over there, but I just never published it. Sit. Millie. Sit down. Sit. There goes some more. I could hunt this field and kill geese, I bet. I mean, I could shoot them from my backyard, but I'd get arrested. It might almost be worth it, man. <laughs> so, I could always deny it and say that the blacks were shooting at each other. <laughs> Sit. And a couple of geese got wounded. Yeah, right. Good boy. Yep, my dog's kind of an oddball, and so am I. It's kind of why I gotta stick to hunting alone, or else one of you guys that fly right will pick me apart. And my dog, too. And then it gets personal and painful. I've actually had it happen. So I'm a little gun shy about who I take. You would be too if you had went through what I've been through. Come on, Millet. Here. Sit. There's some people that are just good at everything they do. Everything, I mean everything. And if they have a bad day, it's because it's your fault. Sit. I mean, let go. Drop it. Over here, sit. There are a lot of experts. And there are amateurs. With rock knobs. Somehow we all got to fit together and be a team and gel, kind of. Uh, we can't be picking on each other's inadequacies like that. It's just bullshit. Sit, Millet. Up. Which all goes back to my philosophy of 
you know, we're stronger together than we are as, as separate individuals. That's why we need to think about trying to be a team. Eventually, it's going to matter. The way the world's closing in on us, we can't each be an island or else they're going to pick us off one by one. It's very important to me that somehow heal all these wrongs of the world and get where humanity functions. It's awful how uh, everything's dysfunctional. And then the ones with the most dysfunction want to, you know, pick on normal people and blame. I've got a lot of experience with this thing. My wife is, or wife, no, my mother is a compulsive liar. And Come on, Millet. She basically accuses everybody of what she does. Drop it. You're kind of being a dick, and I'm about to start using this thing on you. Sit. Start flying right, or else you're going to feel it. Good dog. It's getting a little more steady over the as I keep doing it. He still likes to break because it's fun. And I sure don't want to take the fun out of it. If it's, if it's not fun, then I, I, I'll just quit. Here, Millet. Over here. Here. Sit. Chop. Drop it. Yep. It smells like creosote around here. Sit. Sit. Drop. Good. Sit. Drop. I think he's had about enough. 13 minutes. Plus he had a long retreat you guys didn't see. I threw the dummy way over there by that and then walked way to the other end of the field and casted him to it. He likes doing that. He gets to run as fast as he can in a long line. Come here. I don't think I'm ever gonna get rid of this circling. Take him to water and it goes away. I'm okay with it as long as I get the thing in my hand. I've developed patience somehow over the years. I used to be super impatient. I still am pretty impatient. But something about dog training will make you a little more patient. You have to be or else you start getting angry. And if you get angry, just give it up. Go inside. Because you're no good to the dog when you're all pissed off. Okay, back to the gate. I'm back in the house. Have a great day, everybody. God bless you. Thanks for watching. Sit, Millet. Have a great day. Bye-bye.